How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a collage for your website. And basically, we just have a simple collage here. Um, this is not on a website, I just have it, you know, in a JPEG right now. But, you know, you could create a collage however you want with, you know, different sizes and different shapes of divs. And they're going to hold some images inside it. Um, but the point of this tutorial is to show you, you know, how if you had a collage, no matter what, you know, width and height those you know all of those little boxes are in your collage and no matter what size of image you're bringing in um, how we can place that image you know in the center of your um, in the center of your box there and also you know how we can shrink it down so that it's not too big and you know so that your image is you know shrunk down to the size of a div so that's basically what we're doing here is we're you know shrinking down the image so it's suitable for the width and height of a div and we're also going to center the image inside of it horizontally. Now, one thing we're not going to do is we're not going to stretch the images because, you know, nobody likes stretch images. It's not going to look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it down. Um, basically, when these div when these images are coming in, um, they must be at least a little bit taller and a little bit wider than the divs they're being placed in. Um, it doesn't work if they're smaller. So as long as your image is a little bit taller and a little bit wider than the um, div it's being placed inside, what we're going to do first is we're going to run a while loop and we're going to reduce the width and the height of that of that image by one pixel. And we're going to keep doing that over and over again until the image is of equal height to the div or until the image is of equal width to the div. And one, when one of those things are true, then we're going to stop and then we're going to go and start working on the next image. And oh, by the way, after actually after we do that, we get the sizing right, then we're going to center it horizontally. So um, it gets centered right in there. And whatever is overflowed um, is going to be hidden because the div that's containing the image, we have the overflow set to hidden. So that's how you get an effect like this. And the cool thing about it is that it's totally dynamic no matter what size of boxes you have or what kind of image you're bringing in, um, basically it's going to look good when it gets put in the collage. Um, so let's go over to the HTML you're going to have for this. And basically we have um, a wrapper div here with an ID of collage. And inside of that it has all of the different um, boxes. You can see all these divs here. And their width and height is different in all of them. You can make them however you want. And I'm also I'm not going to get into the styles for this uh, in this video because you know I'm sure you can come up with you know how to style it um, you know in your own way. Um, but yeah, each of these divs here um, they have a child element and that is the image. Um, so they have an image inside them. The div is set to overflow hidden, and this image that's um, that's nested inside them it must be at least a little bit taller and a little bit wider than the containing div. Um, so let's just go over to the JavaScript now and um, you'll see here that of course we have everything wrapped in our document ready function. Um, we just want to wait till all of that you know HTML has been rendered and all of those images have been downloaded and then once that happens you know then we're going to start working on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all of those um, divs inside of collage. So if I go over here what we're doing is we're selecting all of these. And basically that is going to return an array of all of those divs. And then we use jQuery's each, um, each method right here. And for each one of those divs, we're going to basically, we're going to run all of this code right here. So you put function in there. And then for each one of those, we're going to run all of this code right here. Um, so the first thing we're doing is creating this uh, local, variable, local variable here, collage image. And make sure you put the var keyword in front of them, or else you're going to be creating global variables. Um, and so collage image, that's set to this, and then find img. So remember, um, this here is referring to those, uh, you know, these divs right here, those 12 divs. Um, but we don't want to work with those right now. We want to get the image child of it. So we do this, and then find img. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to store that, um, you know, I'm going to store this in a variable because we're going to work, be working with all of these, you know, different variables here. And um, you want to cache that in a variable so that we're not constantly, you know, going into the DOM and selecting that and pulling it out of the DOM. Um, you want to cache that here. 
And then after we have that one, the next one we're doing is uh, collage image width. And that is just um, this find IMG. And then I have this zero right here. So that's basically, um, this is going to select the HTML, so the actual IMG tag. Um, we're selecting that. And then um, client width, so that is getting the width of the image. And that's going to return the width as a string. But because we need to do math later, we need to cast this to a number. And we can do that with um, JavaScript's number function right here. And we store that in this variable here. And then uh, collage image height is basically exactly the same, except for we have client height right here. And after that, we have collage div width. And that is simply um, this, which is referring to the div. And then uh, jQuery's width right here. And then cast that to a number and store that in here. And after that, same thing, height, and store that in collage div height. So after all of that is out of the way, we are going to run this while loop. And what this while loop is going to do is it's going to shrink down the, you can see right here, it's going to shrink down the width and the height of the image by one pixel in every loop until um, until the either the, let's go back to the image here, until the um, width of the image is the same as, as the div width or until the uh, image height is the same as the div height. So let's just take a look at that. So while the collage image width is greater than the collage div width and the collage image width height is greater than uh, collage div height, so um, you know both of these uh, need to be true. And um, then we're going to do you know collage image, and then we have jQuery's adder right here, and then we pass in an object, and the object is width, um, collage image, image width um, minus minus and then height uh, also minus minus. So um, reducing that width and height property um, on the ING, on the ING tag uh, by one each time until, like I said, it becomes the same width or the same height. Now, you know, when that happens, we know we don't know if it, that is going to be the width first that matches the div or the height matches, but it doesn't matter which one it is because, like I said, this div is set to overflow hidden. So, you know, whatever is, you know, left over, that's going to be um, hidden by CSS. And after that, what I want to do is I want to center it. So here we have um, collage image.css, and then we're just doing the margin left property. So we're going to do margin left, and then we're going to do a negative value here. And that is basically, um, that is going to pull the image um, a little bit left until it's centered. And you can see here, the way I did that was um, basically... Uh, we get the um, client width right here. Um, actually, yeah, I could have, I think I could have used this um, variable right here because I've already created that. So I can just copy this here. And, um, well, I'm just going to leave it for now. Obviously, you know, you wouldn't run this function again unnecessarily when you've already, you know, you know, cached its return value inside these variables. Um, but basically, um, what I'm doing here is I'm getting the, um, the width of the image and then I'm subtracting the width of the div because we we know that the image um, width and is always bigger than the um, you know than the width of the div you know to begin with. So anyways, yeah, the width of the image minus the width of the div, and then we go um, we go divide by two, okay, and then concatenate on pixels, and then at the front we want to concatenate on this negative sign because we're going to do margin left and then negative value just to pull that left. So basically we just get the difference of them and then divide it by two and then, you know, pixels and then, uh, yeah, just move that, move that left margin left right there. And basically the result you'll get is, um, you know, just like this, you'll get your images centered in it and we, you'll reduce the width and height, you know, so it's a um, appropriate value for the div that's containing it. 